your reasons. Hey, this ship is losing the altitude. Hurry, Tails. Take Amy and get out of here. Well, what about you? I'll find that Eggman and put him out of commission. Okay, so now we basically have to get off the ship as far as possible. We got EA-102 as playable, but now another cutscene. But this one's really pointless. It was basically just saying that, you know, they have to do something uh, to re refer the ship back to its original point. I, I can just skip that cutscene because that cutscene's really pointless. It's funny because the cutscene plays when you're right in front of the door that has what you need. Just come to the same door where you're right in front of it in the cutscene and then boom. You gotta sit on the throne, hit the switch, you know, the ship goes back to normal. It basically plays the same exact thing it already did, just in reverse. And that actually does change the layout of the ship outside, just a little bit. Not by too much, but uh, I think it gives us the option to go to another level. Okay, we're already outside. But, look, see, now they have this whole top ship open, but now we have a boss. Yay. Oh no! Not again! Chaos! Could this be the same beast? <laughs> oh yes! Sonic, no! Froggy? I must say Froggy! If he's your friend, I'll help you. Just leave it to me. <laughs> now I have six of the Chaos Emeralds. There's only one more left to find. I even found Chaos's missing tail. You won't get away with this, you madman! I will! You're no match for Chaos, even though he's not perfected yet. Okay, Chaos, destroy them all immediately. Now we have to fight Chaos 6. I don't... Do we fight Chaos 5? There's just so many Chaos forms that for some reason we don't fight. Some, we don't even see. I don't think we see Chaos 3. We see Chaos 2 in another story. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Did, did he sh throw one down? There we go. That was easy. Basically, Eggman shoots down these ice things. He's basically helping us for the fight for some reason. He shoots down these ice things. You have to jump at them. And then, oh, when you're stunned, you pick... Ew. When they're stunned, you pick them up and you just need to throw them into his mouth. You know what? What the hell are you doing? Just... What the? God, my God, what? That works. What? Why? I don't know why that's being so picky. Did I hit him? Oh, that's fine. He took one in anyway. Right in the cojones. Let's take one right here. Okay, he didn't even throw it, Sonic. That works. Usually you need to do a running throw, but I guess if you just jump and throw, you're fine. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. The wall won the game. Ba -da -da -da. Ah, 
I hate Eggman. Where's this? to show me something. I really like the, that uh, Tikal team that we used. Yeah, for that, so for that split second of Big being in the cuts and we've unlocked him to play as him. So now we have all the characters unlocked. Hurrah. Lost World. Another great level. And I will give Sonic Adventure this. Next Sonic game, I'm going to have two face plants into the ground. Whoa! I don't know what Sonic was doing, but that was pretty sweet looking. He was just gliding. But yeah, we had two face plants. He didn't collide into the ground, he just bounced off, but you know. Face plant's a face plant. Now this music is cool. A little dark and edgy. Sort of has like an Indiana Jones kind of feel to it. I don't know what I just missed. This part I hate though. But I've played it through so many times I'm used to it. You hit one of these pedestals to raise the water, then you have to wait for this snake to come by and you need to ride it. But since it's really edgy, you can see Sonic's moving by himself. And these little mid-sections of the snake, you can actually fall through them. So you need to stay on a certain platform because if you're not careful, you can actually fall through this and have to climb back up. These square ones, though, will open up a switch, and you need to hit three of them. And you just need to uh, raise the water three times. I just like making that one in one shot, because now we just have to wait for the snake to come back to us. I... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! I hate that you have to wait for this! Is the snake still here? Oh! Oh my god! I've never done that before. I just realized how close it- What the fuck?! <laughs> oh my god. I was never that speedy. I'd never realized the red switch was that close to me before. That world is fucked up. It's really weird. It's alright though. We're not going down there. It's all fine. Those people can go burn in that green ass for all like this part's weird. And I really don't know what's with the music. I like it, but it's really dark. And if you can tell, we basically need to have uh, shine the light in the mirror to light up the area. I've never actually attempted this area with no light, because you have to actually pitch black. For some reason, though, the reflection of the light puts flames... Oh, why are you going to give me a lightning shield? Come on... There we go. I think after this level, I'll uh, get up. Well, nah. There are power-ups in the game that you can get as extras. Like there's a light, like there's an extra, a light speed extra, which basically reduces the time from spin attack to giving the opportunity to light speed. But since I like to spin dash, I don't like the having the chance of it happening sooner. Although my dog is barking, so you're going to hear that for a little while. Hopefully not. Okay, good. Shut up. 